Hello guys, well, here I come again, Amel, and I'm very excited. This is the second tutorial, and well, in the last tutorial I showed you how you can actually download this program right here. It's for free, it's based on Java, you need Java, if you don't have Java it's not going to work for you. So I think I forgot to tell to tell you that, so if you if it didn't work for you, I'm sorry, but this is what you need, you need Java for that. And also don't forget, uh, go to smartfunny.com. We have a website there and you might be able to find good information. So here we have Mars and Mars is a simulator and here is where we're going to write our programs in MIPS, in assembly language MIPS. And well, let me show you the interface. So um, right here you have this menu right here and this is very important. This is where you actually uh, create a new file and save the files and all this stuff but yeah I'm not gonna bore you telling you what that does but this is the, the interesting part this is the interesting part right here and this is what it's very important right here these are the registers and if you don't if you don't know about registers well let me tell you what they are <laughs> registers are in the CPU you can see right there CPU registers and they are like um, they are memory but they are very small memory they are very small but they can they can store information and they are the fastest memory in your computer because they are inside the CPU but they they you, you don't have many registers so that's why you need other types of memory you need cache memory you need random access memory uh, you need secondary memory so registers registers are the fastest memory in your computer and these are the registers in MIPS you can access these registers directly. So you cannot access all the registers like um, uh, because some of them are uh, reserved. So you, 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 you're not going to be able to use them. But most of them, most of them are available for the programmer. And if you don't know what registers are, well, if you have some programming experience, um, they are like variables. But variables, they store the information in random access memory. But these registers right here, they are inside the processor. So they allow you to store information, but the information is not in random access memory. The information is going to go to the processor itself. Wow. Yeah, I know it's exciting, right? So all these registers right here, you will be able to manipulate them because I'm going to show you how to do that. And all this information is going gonna, is gonna to go inside the processor. But assembly not only lets you do that, Assembly gives you a lot more control than C++, than Python or Java. It gives you more control than any programming language because it's, a, it's at a lower level. So you have more complexity to deal with, but you also have a lot more power. And you have these registers. So I'm going to give you an overview of what they are. For instance, this register right here is register zero or constant zero. So it's just the number zero. So in that way, you don't have to store. You, you can just use it for as a constant. So I'm going to show you what that does. Don't worry if you don't understand now. And this is just assembler temporary. This is just for uh, reserved. This is going to be used by, by the assembler. So you don't use it. You don't have permission to use this one. And this v, V0 and V1, they are for um, return returning arguments. So I know you don't know about functions and procedures, but I'm going to show you later that these registers, are they have a special purpose. They will allow you to return information, to give information back. But um, I know you don't understand now, maybe. So don't worry. I will show you later. And A registers, A registers are for arguments. So whenever you need to pass arguments to a function, um, you use these registers. And I'm going to give you examples, don't worry. T registers, they, they are used to store information, so any type of information. But whenever, but these registers, they follow a convention. And you, you should follow the convention. It means that these registers can be modified by the function. So they are collie saved. The function can can actually uh, modify the values in these registers. The S registers are similar to the T registers, but they allow you um, to save the value of the color. I mean, you are supposed to follow the convention, and whenever you, if you use these registers inside the function, you're supposed to to save them. You're supposed to save them to the, to a place to a special place in memory called the stack. But I'm gonna show you that. Don't worry. This is just an overview. And uh, well, we have more T registers right here, and K registers, they are reserved for the kernel. So you see, if you hover 
over the register, it gives you a little description as well. So K0 and K1 are reserved for the kernel. This is the global the global area or pointer to the global area in your memory. The stack pointer. And well, I'm not going to bore you. So I'm going to show you what this does later. And you have special reg registers for, for decimal values, for decimal numbers. But I'm going to show you. So, well, this was an overview. Next time, we're going to write our first program. So, well, I know you're going to, you're, you're very excited. So, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you later.